Something very special was discovered in Madera County in May of 1993 at the Fairmead Landfill, fondly known to Maderans as the dump. It was just another day at the dump, as they say. I was at my desk and I was told that they'd found something in the soil about 25 feet below the surface and I thought it's a tree root or something like that. The scrapers were rolling, pulling up dirt and they scratched out a 12 foot long pinkish colored anomaly in the, in the color of the rest of the soil. They knew they'd found something because you could go days and weeks and never find anything different about the soil. When they had experts come in, they determined it was a Columbia mammoth tusk. It made uh, worldwide news in the paleontology world. It was actually during the summer of the first Jurassic Park. It all kind of wrapped together and there was CNN. It was like, oh my goodness, this is like world news for us. And the tusk was just the first largest find. Then they began to find hundreds and hundreds of other bones from all sorts of different animals. It was one of the most significant finds in North America to find this many Ice Age fossils. Not many places outside of La Brea Tar Pits has this many fossils concentrated in one singular area. Over 15,000 fossils to this day, we're still finding them. Fresno State paleontologists were excited to have a source so close to Fresno State. Normally, the big warehouse for paleontological bones is UC Berkeley. Madera County is not a metropolitan community. It's, it's best known for raisins, wine, almonds. It's right dead center in the middle of the state of California. It's a tight-knit family community. We're a very happy community, very welcoming. It's a smaller county in the San Joaquin Valley. The whole Central Valley is an agricultural area. In fact, it's known to feed the world, and Madera County certainly is part of that. 700,000 to a million years ago, this area was pretty much an open savanna plain full of giant creatures at the time. They um, walked around on our valley floor. Mammoths, we had horses, uh, very large Harlem ground sloths, camels, we had saber-toothed cats roaming through this whole area. They believe it was probably a watering hole. There were a lot of grasses and there were a lot of herbivores and they needed grass. Somehow or other, during the Ice Age, a lot of them got picked up and swept through during one of the ice sheets melting by the Sierra Mountains. For whatever reason, a lot of it settled here at the landfill next to the museum. Well, the primary thing was Madera County could have a center to highlight this find. The Fossil Discovery Center of Madera County is the only fossil-based museum in the entire Central Valley. We're hoping that people can learn from this center about how much life and rich diversity of life was within this area. Not many people know that there were giant mammoths walking down the road. Not many people know that Smilodons were hunting Pleistocene horses. So we're really hoping to get people to understand the rich uh, history of this area. Our site has become a place where students come to basically learn about paleontology, hands-on, here in the valley. Having this museum in our community um, there's an added benefit to being able to teach the children about the past and what animals roam the earth right here in our backyard. As you walk in the front door, you see this huge replica towering over you and you can't help but get a feeling of awe because it, you know it's real, real life size. We really hope that by kids coming to the center, it awakens a passion in them that they want to learn more about their world. It's a big world full of so much knowledge and information. It's very important we ask questions because then it opens up new areas and new avenues of sciences that we can start to look into. Sometimes a child will come up with a simple idea that a PhD professor has not even considered. Something significant in the science world has been found here. It is a place of scientific knowledge. You don't have to always go to the Bay Area or Southern California. It's a legacy that will go on for the area and Madera County.